Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking on the Dreaded D. Rose report. I really don't want to get you guys worried or anything, but I've been having a little heart trouble uh, lately. It's uh, no big deal. It's just I've cut my fingernails down too low, and I can't get this thing open. It's got uh, uh, Hershey Kisses in it, but I, I have... Boy, it just... I just get hungry every once in a while, and I can't hardly get into it. By the way, got some news. The 312 Raw show from Denver, Colorado at the Pepsi Center drew about 11,000 people. Uh, March 13th show in Fresno drew about 9,000 people. SmackDown in Stockton, uh, California drew about 3... Uh, well, no, on uh, 313 drew about 10,000 people. And Sunday show at Bakersfield drew about 6,000 fans. Sunday show at San Francisco at the Cal Palace drew about 6,000 fans, which to me seems like it's kind of down uh, over, you know, what they usually draw. But anyway, you get about, uh, what well, they charge now, about uh, the minimum of $15 to get into the gate, I think. That's what they do around here whenever they come around. And it goes all the way up to a couple hundred dollars, so it's not bad. Jim, I think they used to do a hell of a lot more than that, but I think they, they were uh, years ago in bigger arenas. Jim Ross noted on his Twitter account that uh, Smashing Pumpkins, Pumpkins, Pumpkins frontman Billy Corgan was going to be at WrestleMania 26 in Phoenix watching the show. And Corgan's been, a, he was always a big wrestling fan and has did some work with uh, TNA in the past. Uh, Nine-man tag team match featuring Money in the Bank participants will be taking place next week's SmackDown. No word on uh, uh, how the teams are going to be split up, I guess, but there's still a possibility. I don't know whether it be good with the bad. Maybe it's the bad and the good together. We don't know. And kind of it's still a possibility. Tenth man may be added to the WrestleMania match. Uh, we'll have to find out then. Oh, and one of the major matches next week on SmackDown I'm looking forward to. Next week's SmackDown will also feature Beth Phoenix versus Vicky Guerrero. Uh, and apparently, Vicky is going to don her uh, Mick Foley pants and get into the ring. I think she did that one other time with, I can't remember who. but And then they're going to have a look at WrestleMania access from uh, Phoenix. All right, here's the card so far for uh, WrestleMania 26 coming out of yesterday's uh, SmackDown last night's. WWE title. What is going to be the main event? We got the WWE title, John Cena versus Batista. We got the World Championship title, uh, or rather heavyweight uh, title, Edge versus Christian. Or what am I talking about? Edge versus uh, Chris Jericho. Streak versus uh, Career, Shawn Michaels and Undertaker. No holes barred. Match going to be Vince McMahon versus Bret Hart. Uh, unified tag match uh, is going to be John Morrison and our truth versus The Miz and Big Show, which I wish they would split those tag belts up. Let some more people get in. Uh, there's a lot of uh, 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 people, I'm sure, backstage that can't get on TV and get TV time. Let's give, put them in a tag match. Give them some belts. Let's see some more people. Let's see some more tag team wrestling. Nothing wrong with them. Uh, triple threat match is going to be Randy Orton, Cody Rhodes, Tia, Ted DiBiase against each other, I guess. Street fight, CM Punk versus Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio loses. He must join the Straight Edge Society and get his head uh, with hair put on it or something, I guess. Money in the Bank uh, ladder match is going to be Ziggler, Kane, Christian, Sel uh, Benjamin, MVP, Jack Swagger, Matt Hardy, Evan Bourne, Drew McIntyre. And uh, then it just says there's just a plain match. Triple H takes on Sheamus. What do you think? The main, what's going to make, which one of those matches, I don't know how many I mentioned, 10, 11, which match is going to make you spend $65 maybe? $59.95? I'm not sure how much it's up to now. It's been going up like $5 increments about every year. Uh, what's going to make you buy the match or the uh, pay-per-view? Uh, which match is going to do that? Or if you're going to go, what's going to make make you spend the big money from WrestleMania? All right, this past Thursday night's TNA replay did a 0 0.84 cable rating with 1.1 1 .1, uh, million viewers. The replay this week did the same number as Monday night's uh, show. So, 
you put the two together and actually it's doing better uh, uh, probably I mean Spike TV did better with that than having um, that movie on I don't know what I forgot what they were gonna have on Dixie Carter noted on her uh, Twitter account Jeff Hart is gonna be working TNA live events in um, Vicksburg uh, and on uh, April 30th and Greenwood in uh, May 1st MS. What's MS? Maine? Not Maine. Uh, Miss Mississippi? Oh, that's not Mississippi. What? I forgot what state. It, man, I must be. It's my heart. I'm having heart trouble. Did I tell you that? Couldn't get into it. Anyway, uh, a fan on Eric Bischoff's face page pointed uh, out that he was selling his WWE book, Controversy versus Cash, or Creates Cash. And Bischoff replied, he said that he recently got a $50,000 royalty check from WWE on the book sale. Odd. He's on WWE's payroll, indirectly. All right, we've got WWE returning to the Civic Center, Charleston, West Virginia, June 11th. Um, 7.30 p.m. tickets go on sale April 10th at 8, 10 a.m. Uh, this past Thursday's episode of WWE Superstars of WGN did a 0 0.89 cable rating with uh, 970,000 viewers. Replay did a uh, 1.1, I mean a 0.16 rating with 143,000 viewers. WWE Superstars actually did the same identical thing that uh, the replay of TNA did and the uh, live event Monday. I hope they don't go down very much more in the ratings. TNA. Well, I want to see him make it. Uh, Jim Ross uh, noted, because we do need competition bad. I don't need competition here at this store. I've had that for years. I'm tired of it. Everybody else get out of town. Leave me alone. Blockbuster's trying to. Go on. Uh, Jim Ross noted on his Twitter account that the, the new WWE Univ uh, Universe blog that he will be attending on there, he said he's going to be attending WrestleMania this year. For the first time, as a uh, strictly a fan, uh, talk at Monday's Raw that uh, Ross would be announcing on the show with Michael uh, Cole and Jerry Lawler, but apparently that's incorrect. Hall of Famer Jim Ross uh, also pointed out a new batch of Q&A on his uh, barbecue website with uh, thoughts on the current state of TNA wrestling, which is you know, interesting. Ross says there's going to be a long road ahead for TNA if they really want to compete with WWE and offer... Uh, he offers some suggestions on how to tweak their current approach. Well, let's just tweak away. I think TNA has a lot of work to do before they can uh, begin to fight the success uh, and uh, what they really need. Perhaps starting an hour before Raw might help. Obviously, producing alternative products is uh, imperative. Uh, their replay on Thursdays isn't a bad idea, but Spike really needs to commit and uh, with promotional time to give the, the wrestling product a fighting chance, which is all true. Can't believe that he's trying to help them out and be on WWE's payroll, too. As uh, Anyway, he says, as for people who are expecting TNA to do much bigger ratings and better ratings on Monday night from the beginning, Raw supplied, uh, uh, implies that TNA's approximate 1.0 rating isn't a bad thing. Spike TV averages a point zero, I mean point seven rating, so why would anyone think that realistically TNA is going to increase the network's average 200% or so? So if Spike only does, you know, an average of uh, zero point seven, maybe they're just on the wrong channel. That could be all it is. It's not, uh, you know, uh, Spike may be uh, not the right place. Don't try <laughs> USA. Don't try uh, sci-fi, I guess, but uh, I... I don't know whether uh, the old My Network TV would be a better spot. I think they'd draw a lot better ratings uh, uh, over there than on uh, Spike. But what do I know? I'm still having major heart trouble. I just can't get this tin open, and I'm hungry. Thanks for clicking. Hey, I'll, uh, I'll take a day off. See you Monday. Maybe somebody will do some goofy stuff between now and then. I'll let you know. But anything comes up, I'll make an extra... Uh, report on this. I gotta go.